Good afternoon and welcome to the Thursday, May 28th planning briefing from Missoula, Montana. Let's look at that current satellite view. We can see these high clouds, they're riding up and over the ridge that's uh, currently over the northern Rockies. That's going to continue to push to the east and the axis of the ridge should be over our area by tomorrow afternoon. But our warmest temperatures are looking to be Saturday. Now if you look down here off Baja, California, you can see this counterclockwise rotation. This is a system that's going to affect us um, into this weekend. It will begin to ride up and over that uh, ridge coming up the coast here. Most of the energy is going to stay centered in uh, eastern Oregon, eastern Washington and the Panhandle, but overnight Saturday some of that energy will get into northwest Montana and we'll talk about that in a couple minutes. Let's look at these high temperatures. Um, we're looking at mid to upper 80s for western Montana on Friday and then low to mid 90s in uh, central Idaho. By Saturday, this is going to be our warmest day. We're looking at upper 80s to low 90s for western Montana. This is 15 to 20 degrees above normal for this time of year. And mid 90s to almost 100 for central Idaho. So it's going to be quite warm compared to what we've been used to. Uh, relative humidities. I think uh, Friday is going to be similar to yesterday and today. Low to mid 20s uh, percent for most of our area on Friday and then as that warm moist air comes in on Saturday our uh, relative humidity is going to tick up a notch a little um, into the low 30s. This is that thunderstorm potential for Saturday. Looking at the um, Storm Prediction Center's graphic we can see marginal for northern uh, Clearwater County and for northwest Montana. Now what, is no what does marginal mean? There, that means that there's going to be a chance for scattered uh, severe storms. We're thinking that there is going to be a couple uh, strong storms out there, brief heavy rain, strong winds, and small hail. Now for northern Clearwater County that's probably going to be uh, mid-evening and then the energy doesn't get into northwest Montana into the overnight hours so we could be seeing some nocturnal storms in this area. The 6 to 10 day outlook for precipitation we're going to stay in the southwest flow through most of next week. Um, above normal chance for precipitation. What does that mean? A couple afternoon showers and maybe a thunderstorm or two. Temperatures will stay above normal but not as hot as how this weekend is going to play out. We're thinking it's going to be a couple of degrees above normal. That's uh, upper 70s to low 80s for western Montana and low to mid 80s for central Idaho. Our weather threat matrix is going to be low tomorrow. We're thinking the abnormal heat for tomorrow and Saturday is going to play a factor because we're just not used to it. Um, thunderstorms for north central Idaho, west central Montana, and southwest Montana. Although on Friday the best chance is going to be north central Idaho and southwest Montana. And then Saturday we're, we're jumping up to moderate. It is going to be a lot hotter. Um, kick in that humidity, it's going to feel warmer. And then thunderstorms for all areas, but the best chance is going to be northern Clearwater County in the evening and then overnight for northwest Montana. And then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, that southwest flow continues. Thunderstorms for northwest Montana on Sunday. And then Monday and Tuesday, north central Idaho, west central and southwest Montana. Thank you for coming to our briefing. Our next briefing will be Sunday, the 31st of May.